Hey, Maniacs, I am getting ready to head out to go get my sister for the night, so I thought we would have a fun horror movie night. Uh, I'm out in the vehicle right now, getting ready to head out and everything. But uh, I, I really do got to go pick her up, so I can't really talk for too long. Uh, she's got to be picked up right now, so here we go. Um, uh, I would record me driving, but uh, that's how you get in a wreck, so I'm not going to be doing that. I think we're going to watch killer clowns from outer space i'm really excited to get that going with you guys i might show you a little bit of like me making some popcorn and stuff like that and if you like this content please let me know by hitting that like button subscribing to the channel i'm recording this on my new phone i'm not sure how great a quality it's going to be so whatever quality it is if it's crappy i apologize straight up but here we go i'm gonna go pick up my sister and uh, we're gonna get this horror movie night started no joke i'm about to head out and it's already starting to storm I probably should go ahead and uh, get this thing going as soon as I pull out the car keys, you know, back before it really starts uh, storming. So I'll talk to you guys later. All right, time to go get her and uh, probably get some stuff for movie night. I don't know yet. Yeah, no, that was really bad. I almost couldn't see a thing and I had my glasses on. Making that macaroni and cheese. I always forget the camera is right here. I keep looking over here though, because that's where my face is. I don't know. I have it. was a night like any other night. Then something happened. Did you see that? Something different. Why now? Why? Why? Clowns! <laughs> Perhaps they have. Perhaps they have. Uh-oh. Alright guys, so again, yes, tonight we are going to be watching Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I'm very excited to get this thing going, and I really hope you guys are excited to join me on this. This might be the first of many horror movie nights where I talk to you guys. I am recording this with my phone. A lot of you guys are like, you know, why don't you record with your phone? Well, I'm going to. Uh, we'll see how well the quality is. If it's not that great, we won't do this until I get a better camera. But if you want to help out getting a better camera, definitely go down to the description below. Become a patron or a channel member. All that stuff really helps out a lot. But, yeah, let's go ahead and walk on over here. Um, killer clowns, killer clowns, killer clowns. Where are the Ks? I'm not even I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking. I shouldn't know where it is, though. It's like right in here. It's right in here. Oh, my God, I'm blind. I'm blind. Uh, oh! Officer Mooney.
poor Mooney, just enjoying his night, and he gets bumped into by a bunch of kids. Can I just say, I loved it when he just took his hat off, threw it in the car, just to get into the car, just to put his hat back on. Fantastic. Nothing yet, Dave. But Friday night's just starting for the park. Check it with you later. You know, Dave and him actually seemed like good friends at first. Like they respected each other. Ice cream. The lick a stick. I guess that's comfortable. An uh, inflatable boat in the back of your vehicle. Honestly, I wouldn't mind actually hanging out like that. Like, if you ever go on a day or something, just chilling in the back of your a vehicle, just look up at the stars. Might see Las Vegas! Las Vegas incident! Wait, wait, I wanna, I wanna do my best, um, old man here. One sec. Okay, he's reading a book. I don't got a book to look at. Um, but I'll just act like I have a book. The second the comment hits. I think I did that okay. Did you see that little old sky jockey zip down in there, poo? It's Haley's Comet! On, Poor guy. He completely yeah, thought he was gonna be rich. Die. Okay. That was such a... Like, no one talks about that, but that was such an annoyed okay. Like, you could tell he was really wanting to... Who plays the it's a circus doing, doing out here, these parts. Maybe we can get us some... Some free passes. passes. Poor Pooh Bear. Something fishy is going on around here. What in tarnation's going on here? One of my favorite moments in the entire movie. I love this scene so much. Something funny's happening around here. What, what in tarnation's going on here? I'll tear this thing apart. Tear this thing apart with, with my bare hands. <laughs> this thing's wired. This thing is wired. You see, this is why I love clowns. The second he sees a clown, he's like, oh, yay, they're clowns. One of my favorite moments, too. When he gets zapped. The, oh, with the pink lights, it kind of looks perfect. Oh. I always... The, the, over dramatic as hell. Okay, yeah, they did a few minor things. Okay, they're not history. They're going to, at most, spend maybe a few weeks in jail. It's not like they went around and murdered anybody or, did, you know, crazed something crazy along those lines. I don't know the law specifically and where, like, I know the laws, obviously, but, like, I don't know, like, the, you know, the consequences for doing stuff like littering. Get her! Dude, I wonder where these woods are. That'd be fun to know. Can someone look these up? Like, where did they film the, these woods at? I would love to find this area. Maybe it's just a stage. Maybe it's like a stage setup. Maybe. Something's wrong. This this doesn't feel right. Yeah, Deb didn't really hesitate. It's almost like she already was kind of unnerved by clowns. And the second she saw a, a circus tent out in the middle of nowhere, I think immediately the first thing you think is like crazy clowns. I mean, who? What else would be out in the middle of nowhere in a circus tent, right? I, like, makes no sense. No one's gonna travel out there to look for it. I. Yeah, something would be a bit off if I saw that too. And I love clowns. The inside of the ship was always cool to me. I love the inside. And again, one of the reasons why I love this movie is because they go all the way with the idea. Great or what? It looks like it was decorated by Clowns R Us. Kinda. Should that be a store? That should be a store. Shooting star! Fucking throws him up against the wall. Look, I look. I don't believe in UFOs, but if they do exist, we're in one. Nobody stores cotton candy like this. Dude, I just noticed around, like right here, you can see exactly where he needs to grab to rip the cotton candy off to reveal the face. I just realized that. Ah! A lot of people want me to go to Hall uh, dress up for Halloween as him, uh, Rudy. Trick or Treat Studios is coming out with that gun this year. The popcorn shooting gun. Dude, it's like $100. I want it though. We got Spiky and Rudy. Spiky, yeah. Yep. I got the Funko Pop right next to me.
I want to I want to know who, what his name is. I like that killer clown. Such an underrated creepy shot. Them just slowly getting up. Look at this guy's face right here. Look how look at That is creepy. Yeah, right, we can run to the police station. We're going to tell them there's a bunch of clowns running around the hills killing people with cotton candy. You know, you could have literally gone to the police just saying that we think there is a possibility there's been a murder. Not saying clowns, but a murder. And you could have said they are dressing up like clowns and they are killing people, but you didn't have to say, like, killer clowns from outer space, and they probably would have believed you more because it's not that crazy to think that someone could be dressing up like a clown and killing people. Such a cool shot. Simple yet effective. Booty, Shorty, Jumbo, that guy. Candy things, these You see, there are moments, dude. It's like the slightest moments that you can actually tell that Dave was a cool, was kind of cool with Mike at first, like the way he put his hand on his back. And he's like, "Come on, dude, let's go talk about this." Like there was moments like that, and then out of nowhere, boom, starts hating everybody. People start hating everybody. Happened with Moody earlier, or Mooney. Um, I call him Moody because he has a, such an attitude. But uh, Mooney. What, earlier when he was talking to Dave over the radio, he sounded like he actually liked Dave and they were actually kind of, you know, just being professional with each other. But then later on, yeah, they start having these moments of just complete just wows, right? Just, they hate each other. Killer clowns and, and they, they shot popcorn at us. We barely got away. Stop. Stop. They shot popcorn at us. We barely got away. Don't you understand? The popcorn! Don't you get it? Can't blame Mooney for coming in and doing what he does just by the way they're going about it. There's so many different ways you could have gone about this. I told you I was just over there. Who are you going to believe? Me and this little tramp. To me, you make a joke of the police department when you go around and call people tramps and and you threaten ki college kids. You, you destroy a police station, Mooney. You destroy a police station when you do shit like that. When he actually, when people come to, when people come to you with a problem and they ask you, it doesn't matter how silly or how out there the story can be, if you, at least if you take into consideration what they are saying and maybe even attempt to go out and help them, you are doing justice to the police force. It's a silly movie, obviously. I'm not taking it seriously at all, but it's funny and ironic to me that the one guy here who was trying to act like a big shot badass cop and it act, you know, he's acting like he, you know, that's, this is what it takes to be a cop, is actually the one dragging down the police station. Make a dummy out of yourself. But you won't be making a dummy but out of me. you're not gonna make a dummy out of me. No, the clowns will, though. I have to go drop my brother off at work. That's gonna be about 10 minutes for me. For you guys, it's gonna be seconds, but let me get the creepy clowns in the background. But yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Sorry about that. A little bit of delay in the movie night, but we're gonna get to it. All right, just dropped him off, and now I'm gonna go ahead and head back home. I feel like it's been like three days now trying to get this video together, this whole vlog, whatever I'm trying to do. I should probably clean that before I drive. <laughs> Love the laugh. Love the way they look the, with the masks, the laughing, and the animatronics. Love it. Debbie, just listen to me, would you? I don't have to listen to you. You are not my boyfriend anymore, all right? Yeah, that's right. What a shitty situation to be in. But that doesn't change the way I feel about you, Debbie. Don't you understand? We can be together again, right in front of her current boyfriend. Take a picture of this and post it to Instagram. Bike. 
What are you gonna do? Knock my block off. What are you gonna do? Knock my block off. Damn! Pretty good effect. I should specify. When I said pretty good effect, I meant the body falling, not the head knockoff. That was pretty cheap. But you know what? I still respect it. Creepiest scene in the movie, by far. Look how creepy the music just got. Like genuinely such an unsettling weird moment like in the movie like it's not even silly anymore it's just being like dead serious this guy this is a creepy scene please make them animatronics again when we do a killer clowns too please don't make them cgi some scenes with cgi is fine but this is all practical right here and this is creepy back here young lady you're not going anywhere till you finish your food why not just go in there and fuck him up but yeah he was about to bash that kid's brains in I think I have a bit of a problem here. Just a minute. This is not you too, Mr. Myers. That, dude, that should have turned up, that, that should have, like, sw made a switch go, go off in Mooney's head that maybe this is not a prank. If somebody he's known for a long time is telling him that there are clowns at his store. What the hell with them all? You're a great officer. You're a great police officer. It's obvious she goes for last, not stability. What a, what a jab. Some like both, you know? Some like when you, when you're, when you're funny, but you're also stable. This guy right here. Boo. Boo. Oh my god. You're tough. It's so silly. It's not even possible, but it's, he's doing it. I love Slim. Like, how do they even know what that is? Look, you can just drop me off over here. I'll take the bus home. You ain't gonna get the best of me. Yeah, that's... First off, can I just say that if a cop really just let all these phones ring like that, this guy would have been lucky to keep his... Even if this guy had survived the movie, he would have been lucky to keep his job after the movie. Just shows up. <laughs> God dang, do. do! What do we have here? He don't give a shit. You know, he was actually so worried. I don't, I think he I think he pulled his gun out just to show that he had dominance over him, but he turned his back on the guy. This giant 8-foot clown and just unlocked the door. <clears throat> One of the most disappointing deaths ever. Yeah. Yep, that's how Mooney dies. All right, so far, so far, I'm obviously, I love this movie. It's one of the classic films, in my opinion. One of the ones I always go to, one of those ones that has so much rewatch value, and rewatch value is important to me. But yeah, Mooney's death. Mooney's death really bums me out, because it's like the waste, wasted potential. I mean, this guy could have gone out in literally almost any other way. And, like, the, the dummy part was fun. I mean, that is a great, like, aftermath for a kill. I mean, I really wanted this guy to fall and break his ankles. I wanted something to happen to him. I wanted him to like go outside. Maybe a posse of clowns come in, or or maybe like he looks outside and sees that parade of clowns going by, right? And with all the bodies and everything, he starts freaking out, runs into the office, actually tries to attempt to call somebody, and or something along those lines. And then he realizes that there's a clown in there, or something along those lines. You guys could have gone so much, so much darker and so much more funny with Mooney's death. But again, the Pentroco stuff. We're going to be getting to that. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to go downstairs, get some more coffee, and continue this. I mean, let's face it, we didn't really care. Haunting image, though, of Mooney. Then the music kicks in. But it's always with Jumbo, I noticed. <laughs> to find out that that was done with, like, a bunch of mirrors just spinning around, that that's pretty cool.
You know, the way Slim and Jumbo acted throughout this entire movie almost makes me think they were a bit higher up than the other clowns, right? The way that peop they go to Slim and, and Jumbo was like these two were the big dogs, right? These two were the big guys of the, the entire group. If you were a clown, where would you hide? The amusement park. Right. All right. All right. Oh, dude. Okay. Yes. This is everything I love about this movie right here. This this entire scene is the def def definitive moment of the entire film. What are you going to do with those pies, pies boys? boys? What are you going to do with those pies, boys? Can we just like appreciate the art? Ooh, scary. I came from planet centuries ago. And our idea of clowns just comes from. How oh, come they're not funny? Maybe they're from a dying planet. But they are funny. Maybe they're just cruising through the galaxy and stopped here for a bite to eat. That's actually probably the most accurate thing, yeah. Oh, we're getting close to the female clowns, yeah. Cats, they always land on their feet. Uh, Speaking uh, of cats. Are you Debbie's roommate? Such a stupid line. Obviously not. I'm curious. I'm curious. Why do they feel the need to trap people in the balloons? Right? Why do they why do they do that? I thought they were here for Buddy. What did they have what were their intentions for the people who were just trapped in the balloons? Were they gonna like save them for later, I guess? Maybe? This fat f Coming in and sneaking some food. Shh, quiet. Move back. Get out your incredible bendy straw. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like the shape of their dicks. Shoot him! Nice! Balloons, why not? Another door. Come on, Mike. Another door. Okay. Here, here. Yeah. Look at this place. Literally like a maze, yeah. Oh, there goes Rudy. They're terrible at hitting. Is this all it took? There has to be a Killer Clowns movie because they brought up, you know, we pretty much think that we got inspiration from the Killer Clowns from outer space to actually make our own clowns. So what if, like, a posse, the clown posse, goes up against the Killer Clowns, right? How would that end up? How would that turn out? They have awakened Clownzilla. What the hell is that? That is a big one. Everyone out of the truck, come on! We can, it's rented! It's done anyways, boys. No way they would have survived that in real life. No way. No, Jay, don't. We don't all make it. We can't, Debbie. Stop it. Get out of here, Mike. Come on, Jay. What are you doing? Now, Mike. I don't mean to keep pausing it, but it always blew my mind, the fact that he never hit the fucking thing's nose with the bullet. Its nose is so freaking big. That, that nose is probably, like beach ball like times two and he couldn't hit it that well i don't know i don't know the ending got a little silly i won't lie it, it's, a, it's a little over the top silly ending but again he would that's what you would expect from a movie called killer clowns from outer space and they get here at the last minute So epic. We hit in the cooler. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, what a ride! Well, we hit in the freezer with the ice cream. Yeah. And what better way to end it? Oh. 
Okay, uh, guys, that was Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Really enjoyed it. You can probably hear the lawnmower in the background. That's because it's the next day. I passed out last night after watching Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Had a lot of fun. Obviously, I've seen this movie several times, but I always feel like there's something I missed the first time around, or the second time, or the third time, or the 20th time I've watched it. Uh, having headset on this time, actually listening to the movie, it was a little bit different because I could actually hear every small detail in the background. It was pretty neat, actually, if I had to be honest. Uh, so I caught a lot more things this time around than I even did the first 20 times I've watched the movie. Um, really love it. Obviously, yes, there's a lot of issues I have with the film, obviously, but at the end of the day, I can't really take it too seriously because it is a movie called Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's a good time, and that's exactly what it's trying to get at. But guys, what is the next movie you would like to see a horror movie night for? Uh, if you want to watch the full actual revisit for this film, the actual full length video, it will be up on Patreon or become a channel member. You guys can watch the full thing without any cuts or anything like that. So if you guys want to check that out, please do so. Uh, the more channel members that help on in, the better our chances are of me doing YouTube for a lot longer. So if you're into this stuff, I will do more of it. So thank you so much, guys, for checking this out. Uh, I would, I'm gonna do this again, and I, maybe next time we'll actually make a snack for the like going into the theme of the movie that we watch. Maybe the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Who knows? Maybe I make a barbecue or something. I don't know. Maybe we can have fun like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Keep it retro. Do take care.